Nah! Big Kaz Kamikaze Bastard, no! Aw, oh, no! I knew he was gonna do that. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, he got rid of the Spike Leads, too. No. God damn that guy. Oh my god, that sucks so bad. I knew he was gonna screw me up. Ah, no. This guy might even eat a little bit of the torch wood. Oh, that was close. Okay. Definitely need to put a tall nut there and a tall nut there. Ah. Damn. This is the last flag anyway, so... I don't like having that one area exposed. But we definitely needed to put one on the water because I know the stupid zo uh, dolphin zombies are coming. Ugh. Yeah, if I didn't put up a tall nut on the water, the dolphin zombies would have just come by and killed me. Everything else is pretty alright. Grandpa zombies and bucket zombies don't really frighten me. It's just the guys that can get really close that do. Dun 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 dun. Diddle, 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 diddle. Yeah, I'll show you guys. Once we're finished with this, I'll show you guys what we're gonna be doing next time, and that'll pre and pretty much the next time I start recording. I think that'll be the end of Plants vs Zombies. Then I'll get back into Pokemon and maybe do some other projects and you know all that other stuff. But we're here and now, and there's football zombies. I do like how the football zombies have decorated themselves. Kind of sound like Martha Stewart of zombies. Like, look at the look at the decorative drawings that they've done on their helmets. Such craftsmanship you don't really see anywhere else. That's why I like coming to the country. All the country zombies are much more appealing to look at. It's a good thing. Yeah, she went to jail. Uh, maybe I should have got a cherry bomb, then I could have planted a cherry bomb. Oh well. Uh, screen door zombies are gonna screw me up. Better not lose after all this. That's gonna suck if I do. Well, to be honest, I'm just glad we got past the stupid, um... Ah, here we go. I'm just really glad we got past the stupid Zomboni thing. That was horrible. Oh no, the football zombie. The football zombie's gonna screw me up. Here we go, football zombie, no, this is it! No! I'm dead. God damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. You stupid football zombie. Err. Damn it, okay. Next time, guys, we will finish up these last four. We'll finish up Last Stand, Zimbotany 2, Pogo Party, and whatever the hell this last one is, and then uh, Survival Mode, as for that, it's pretty much Survive Day, Night, Pool, uh, Night at the Pool, Roof, and then, like, the harder versions, and then, the like, Endless. And, uh, so we'll finish up that. We did all the puzzles. Uh, we'll finish up these four mini-games. We're not gonna do Adventure Mode over again. We'll do one- we'll do one of Survival. We'll do Day, and that'll be it. Just to show you guys what survival mode is. And then, uh, obviously, here's all our plants. Let's water them a little bit. Tell you what, we'll check out what some of these sprouts are. How about that? That'll, that, that'll be how we end the day. We'll give life to a couple new plants. Actually, I should go, uh, I should go buy some more manure. Alright. Rock and roll, whatever he said. Whatever he said, I don't know. We'll, uh, water these guys up. Ah, uh, that bugs me that I wasted all that time doing something that I... I got to the very end and then I died. How lame is that? Oh well. This is soothing, to a certain degree. This does calm the nerves a little bit. 
I'm just interested to see what these sprouts are going to become. No, don't do that. Dummy, I just wasted some manure. Yay, you gave me a giant crystal. Really, that's... Once you uh, get the giant crystal... Ooh, it's Hypno Shroom. Once you get the giant crystal, that's pretty much your lot. Like, from these marigolds. Because now they... All they want is, like, music and stuff. They're pretty lame after they grow to full size. Well, it pretty much goes for all of them. They'll all put out... Uh, ooh, here we go. That guy is... Ooh, yeah, he's tall nut. Oh, wait, why am I watering you? Here you go. Lovely. What's this sprout gonna be? This sprout is... Ooh, a doom shroom. Very nice. And you are... An ice shroom. Cool, we got a lot of stuff. A lot of them are asleep, but whatever. The way you wake them up is you go to the shop and you buy, like, a nighttime area for them. Uh... Right here, this nighttime area. And this one is aquarium for my aquatic plants. It's got, like, the Bioshock theme to it. Just just to show you guys what... Actually, Tree of Wisdom... I'm not going to show you guys what Tree of Wisdom is. Tree of Wisdom is pretty much you buy stuff for your Tree of Wisdom, and it, um... Let's buy a rake one. Ooh, ten slots? I didn't know that. Ooh, that's expensive. That's for, like, hardcore plants versus zombie guys. Ooh, ooh, that's so good. This one, it just lets you repeat your stuff. That actually would have been really helpful during the, um... The Zambot or the Zamboni guys, because you could have two at a time. So like you could have two different jalapenos recharging at the same time. Uh, this guy just collects all your gold for you in case you're too fat to collect them. This guy's a very much improved version of the spike weed. This is winter shrooms. You put them on top of your uh, watermelons and it turns your watermelons icy. Uh, kernel. You put them on top of two corn guys and it turns it into a, like a missile silo. He's pretty good, but you gotta click on him. Like, he won't do anything automatically. And then this is just, like, allows you to plant fresh walnuts on top of damaged ones, which is okay. I don't know. So that's pretty much it. When we come back next time, we'll finish up mini games. we'll do one of survival, and then maybe we'll buy something or something. I don't know. And that'll be it for Plants vs. Zombies, guys. So until then, I've been the Invisible Gunslinger number one, and I shall talk to you guys later. See you guys.